Welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn any PNG image or logo into particles. And there are so many different ways to create particles out of logos, but some of them are very complicated. But in this tutorial, I'm going to keep it very simple. And even if you are a complete beginner in Fusion, you can create this effect with ease. Now we are going to use just six different nodes in here, including the media out and media in. So the first thing that we need to do is go to the effects and drag in a Fusion composite. Now the default length of a fusion composition is 5 seconds. Now I think let's bring it back to 4 seconds because that is what we're going to keep our composition to. So once that is done, what we can do is that we can straight off go to fusion. Now you can see that we only have a media out node uh, because nothing else is connected to it. So the first thing that we can do over here is to bring in our logo. So let's go to the finder and let's drag in this resolve logo. As you can see that this is a logo with a transparent background. Now, if you don't have a logo with a transparent background, you can always go to Photoshop and you can just crop out the background. And you can use it with any PNG image uh, which has a transparent background. So and this is our logo. Let's bring this logo up in the left hand viewer. We're pressing one. And now let's create our node tree. So the first thing that we need to do is that select this media in one and press shift spacebar to bring up this node selection tool and let's type in p image emitter so there are other emitters as well but you need to select the p image emitter so once that is selected press add it's going to be added after that now we need a rendering system to render this out uh, to the media out so for that what we can do is that press shift spacebar and type in P renderer so once that is there just add it and now just connect the P renderer to the media out now you can instantly see in the output that we have a kind of a particle system going on over here now the only thing that we can see right now is that the logo is not the proper size so to change the size of the logo we are going to select the media in one shift spacebar and let's type in transform Select this transform XF, add it, and select this transform, go to the inspector over here, and let's reduce the size of it so that we are happy with it. And now what we need to do is that let's create our effect. So let's go to P image emitter and go to this inspector. Let's go to style. So in the style, instead of point, select it to blob. Let's go to the size controls and increase the size all the way up to 0.5 because this is going to give us more prominent results. Now we need to go to the controls and the first thing that I want to do is that I want to set the lifespan of these particles to match with the lifespan of my compositions. So right now you can see that my composition is around 96 frames. Let's just go to the lifespan and add in 96. Go to this random seed and add in around 200. So this is going to make the particles uh, grow randomly. Now here comes the interesting part where we're going to add the velocity to the particles. So let's select the velocity and let's increase the velocity to somewhere around here. And let's also change the velocity variance. Now velocity variance is actually going to make the difference on how these particles are moving over time. So let's bring it up to 0 0.136 I suppose. Yeah, somewhere over here. Now these are the settings that work best for me uh, as far as this example is concerned. But you can always try all these other options if you want to go a little bit more in detail. Now let's play it back and see how the logo is transforming into particles. Now the thing that is happening is that these particles are going towards the right. We want these particles to come into the screen. So for that we're going to go to the angle Z and let's turn this to minus 90. And this is going to bring the particles into the screen. So now let's play it back. Now you can notice that uh, this is not playing back real time because uh, this is a pretty heavy effect on system. So what you can do is that if it's not playing back very smoothly, you can right click in here, you can press, uh, you know, uncheck high quality, and you can also check motion blur for the preview. So once that's done, now let's bring in the cool part. So after this P image emitter, let's add in the turbulence. So select this P image emitter, shift spacebar, and type in turbulence. So we're going to add P turbulence over here. And let's go back to a previous frame, just over here. 
and we need to tweak a little bit of settings in the P turbulence just to make it look good. So select P turbulence in the random seed add in 300, set the X strength to 0 0.5, set the Y strength to 0 0.5 and set the Z strength to 0 0.5 and also change the density to 20. So that looks good. Now just to make the animation a little more smoother, what we can do is that we can go to the spline and we can check all these options for the P image emitter. And let's select this button so that we can see the, uh, you know, keyframes. Now what we can do is that just select both of them and press S on your keyboard just to smooth things out. Now just press this one and bring it down a little bit just over here and bring this one up just like this. So what's going to happen is that the size is going to increase for these particles over time. Let's turn off the spline and let's go back to the edit page. Now if you try to preview it, it's not going to preview in real time. What you can do is that just go to the playback and go to render cache and set it to smart so that it could render and give you a proper playback over time. So let's preview it. Now that thing done, but it would be really cool if we could keep this logo still for some time and then we turn it into particles. So for that, we're going to go the easy route. Now let's go to the media pool and let's bring in the resolve logo into the editing timeline. Now the size of the logo and fusion composition, and the size of the logo over here are not matching as you can see. So what we can do is that we are going to go for an easy hack. Let's drag this over top of this fusion composition. All we need to do is that just bring down the opacity so that we can see the logo beneath it. And let's turn down the zoom on this so that it matches with the logo. Now let's bring up the opacity on this one and let's close it from the end. Perfectly aligned. Now let's reduce the size for this to somewhere here. Another thing that we can do is that we can just give it a little bit of zoom before it dissolves. So all we need to do is uh, just go to the effects and drag in this adjustment clip on top of it and just align it to the length of the full composition. Now select this adjustment clip and just turn on the dynamic zoom. In the dynamic zoom, let's swap it so that it is zooming in. And I also want not to be zoomed in too much. So what I can do is select the dynamic zoom. Let's turn this up a little bit so that this is not zoomed in too much. Just a little bit. And there you have your logo turned into particles. So now one cool and easy thing that you can do with this is that you can just make a copy of this and you can just simply go to fusion. So once you have this node tree, what you can do is that you can just replace this logo with any logo that you have and it's going to work just fine. So let's go to the finder and let's bring in this logo. Just disconnect this media in one, which is the first logo and just connect this to the transform. And now you have that same logo turned into particles over time. Now what you can do is that you can just adjust the size of it because it's not the same size. Just go to transform and increase the size to your liking. So if you like the video, please don't forget to comment down below and let me know what would you like me to make next for you.